Hello guys, Robobat1 here, coming at you with my new and improved Autogeist deck profile. Now, I've been testing Autogeist, um, it's one of my options for Nationals this year, and I feel like I've come up with a list that I honestly really like, I enjoy it, I feel like it's a list that can work really, really well, depending on how you, if you know how to play Autogeist and the builds that you can go against, and obviously the decks you go up against, because if you go against True Draco, you're still going to get screwed, um, but... I feel like I've come up with a list that I personally like, that I feel like is actually really good, really consistent. Um, it lets me get to my cards as quickly as I possibly can, um, and also stop my opponent from stopping me from getting to my cards. And I feel like this is a list that I just really, really like, and really, really enjoy. So... Without further ado, I want to show you guys the list. It's a list that I really do enjoy. Like, I'm not even, I'm just, I know I'm putting this on and I really keep saying the same thing over and over again. But this list, I enjoy a lot. It's something I really do actually enjoy. So, without further, so let me, let's get into the profile because I want to show you guys what I enjoy, why I like it, and just the reasoning and stuff behind things. So, let's get into it. So, obviously, we're not going to go too far into the actual Autoguise Monsters. Um, we played three Autoguise Marionetta, it sets your traps from the deck, and also, come on, uh, it sets your camera focus. Focus. There we go. Um, it sets your all guys monsters from the deck, uh, all guys traps from the deck, and summons all guys monsters from the graveyard by setting an all guys on the field. You need to play three of it. It's your it's your trap searcher. It has to be at three. Uh, three best card in the deck, multi faker. Well, best card in all guys. Uh, let's just summon out all guys. Let's just seal. Let's you win with seal. Simple as that. Um, free Mary Miller Seek. Uh, you need to play free of this. I will not straight, I cannot stress this enough. Um, being able to search Morty Faker, being able to remove cards from your opponent's board and attack directly. Inset, really good, and you need to play three of it. Not going to go in any deeper than that. Um, two Siliquis. You don't want to play too many. You don't want to play too little. Um, two is the right number. If you draw it, you hate yourself. <laughs> it's, it's a fact. Uh, one Kunkuri, you need to play one, it help. it just saves your life when you, when your opponent attacks you, and it does, it, it really does help, especially when you have Siliquis, because if you, if you Kunkuri them, then you can Kunkuri them twice, so, two Sil, uh, two Kunkuri, uh, one Kunkuri, necessary, that's standard all guys lineup though, every all guys list should be playing this exact lineup of all guys monsters, um, there's no real changes that you should be making to this lineup of all guys monsters unless we get a really broken all guys monster outside of multi faker, but we'll have to see what we get later on, so, for other monsters though, we play free ash blossom, best hand trap in the game, not going to uh, go too deep into it either because it is just ash blossom, it is the best hand trap in the game, um, for spells, though, we play free Pot of Extravagance. Um, made Autogeist even better than it was before we got before Savage Strike, um, and just made the deck even better because of it's just a fact of oh, I don't care about this thing called an extra deck, so I'm just gonna draw two. Um, card is really insane for all guys. You need to be playing three of it in the deck. Uh, other spells: one Secret Village. It kills. Uh, it kills Striker. So we play it and any spell deck. So, well, Secret Village is necessary. And the card that actually I like the like the most, and reason I call it Mystic Altergeist. Uh, yeah, I didn't say Mystic Altergeist at the start because I wanted it to be a bit of a surprise. Um, but this deck plays Mystic Mine. Um, this deck is really, really good with Mystic Mine um, for the fact that if you open Spoofing, M Spoofing Mystic Mine, you win the game. Like, you just keep attacking your opponent for 500 each turn, removing cards that you don't really care about, spoofing, keep returning a Mela Seek to hand, and you just win. It takes 16 turns. Um, you have normally all the Autogeist cards in the game to prevent your opponent from stopping you, so there is no real reason why you should lose when you set up a spoofing Mystic Mine, unless your opponent has, unless you don't draw into these cards that don't work, um, don't help stop, like, Twin Twister and stuff. But even if you do, and that happens, normally, most of the time, you've drawn into resources that will allow you to just autogeist your opponent to death, so it's fine, like, Mystic Mine is just a really great card in this deck, and it's something I like a lot. Uh, for autogeist, for, uh, but those are the spells. Um, for autogeist traps, though, we play Free Spoofing, the card that you use in tangent with Mystic Mine and Mela Seek, because literally, you have Mystic Mine here, you have Spoofing here, summon Mela Seek, attack 500, back to hand, Attack 500, back to hand. Attack 500, back to hand. You get the point. Um, 
Honestly, guys, uh, that is a very good combo, and you just keep drawing in. If you keep drawing into trap cards, you you will win that game. You will win that match. Uh, but you need to play free spoofing, obviously, in this list because of that. Um, also, free spoofing is just really good in general because it allows you to get to your multi faker, allows you to get to your marionettes. Um, it's a card that I wouldn't play at less than free. And if it was called an auto guys card. If it was an all gas card, you would. Oh my god! If this was an all gas card, don't even, don't even. Um, but for other all gas traps, we play two protocol. I don't feel like you should be playing more than two protocol in any all gas deck. Um, it's searchable through means of marionetta, so you don't really need multiples of this card outside of the two that I'm playing. Uh, one manifestation, you can run it on uh, free, but I like to run it on one. I don't feel like you need to run more than one, so I play choose to play one. Simple logic. Um, triple impermanence might as well be an guys card as well, because if you open this and fake it, you win the game. Um, triple metaverse to get to, to more ways to get to your mystic mine. Um, uh, your mystic mine, or even secret village if you're up against a striker player. So, it does come in clutch. Um, two trap trick. Uh, fifth, fourth and fifth copy of impermanence and metaverse. So, yeah, you're you're essentially playing six copies of Mystic Mine in a way. Yeah, <laughs> um, Solom Engine, uh, two strike, one judgment. Feel like this is the best ratio in my personal opinion. Um, in at least in this build, because with M Mystic Mine, you're not normally going to be negating monster effects because they won't ever have a monster effect to be used because of mystic mine so i felt like this was fine uh the lineup this lineup was fine um the amount of times it normally takes for them to get to that out it is extraordinary extraordinary so i felt like this was the correct ratio of solemns um if i didn't play the mystic mine build though i'll, I'll deck out in the solemn grid <laughs> um Two crackdown for when your opponent outs the Mystic Mine. I just want to take your stuff so you can't play the game. Um, and then one Imperial Order for those spell deck players that I don't really want to deal with and just go away. If you're playing spells, go away. And it also helps me out my own Mystic Mine when I want to kill my opponent. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that's the main deck. I honestly really do like the main deck. I've built I've built it mainly because a Mystic Mine exists. And honestly, if if we ever go into a format without spell cards, I'll cut this and just put another Mystic Mine in. So, yeah. I like the list. I like the main deck list a lot, guys. I really do. But for extra deck, let's get into it. We play one Clara and Rushka. It's just there to, as an extra resource to link away your Melaseek if you have to do it. No other reason. Um, two Link Karibo, you don't need to play more than two. It, it, two is the correct number in this list. It's not needed at more than two. Uh, one Kidola. Um, I play this because I feel like having another Link to Allgeist is really good. And its effect can actually come up at times where... You just get to summon a monster from your opponent's grave, so I felt like it was a good option. I felt like it was good. I like the card a lot, and in testing, it has come up. Um, but nine times out of ten, it will probably be banished off the pot of extravagance. Um, the only other card you'll make in the deck, uh, extra deck Hextia. Um, you need you play three of it. You don't play less. Free is the guarantee. Um, other extra deck cards, One Nightmare Phoenix, you'll never make it, but it's there to kill stuff. Um, Nightmare Unicorn, you'll never make it, but it's there to kill stuff. One Boral Sword, you'll never make it, but it's there to OTK. One Boral, Boral Load, one Boral Sword, one Boral Load, it's there to steal my opponent's stuff. <laughs> um, those are the Link Monsters. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. You, you only really care about these five... You only care about your your two Linkaribo and your Hextia. That's 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 all you care about. You don't care about any others. <laughs> um, for cards that aren't Link monsters, though, we play one Mud Dragon because of of the swamp. Because we do, you should be siding. Um, you should be siding the super polymerization. Um, you can main it, but I choose to side it. So one Swamp Dragon as a super poly target. One Starving Venom as a target for your for your opponents that are playing Orcus or Thunder Dragon. Uh, and two Violet Chimera as the targets for your opponent's extra for your opponent Solomon Great players. So yeah, I like you. You don't really care about these because the, you'll banish them off the extravagance nine times out of ten, as I said before. But 
yeah, that is the list. Um, I feel like the list is really strong out of everything I've tested, um, and I feel like this is honestly one of the best ways to play Autogeist, and literally just getting to this combo is just very powerful in this deck. Um, but guys, that's the list. Tell me what you think of it in the comment section below. I really really like this list it's really good really strong and i haven't had any issues with it as of as, as far as i've gone um but guys tell me what you think of it tell me if you think this this combo is actually really relevant or if you try in this combo and you think it's really good um if you think there's any changes i could make to the deck to make, kind of improve it boost its consistency um tell me that in the conversation below and guys if you enjoyed the video don't forget to press the like button to show that you liked the deck profile that you like this cancer that i made um and that you just want to show your support and like it and also press the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video to see more deck profiles and discussion videos and all the stuff like that um press the notification button to be notified of any videos and streams that i do at 8 p.m uk time on thursday afternoons and don't forget to tell me all your thoughts in the conversation below as well but guys that's the video thank you so much for watching autogeist one of the f most enjoyable decks i've ever had when you're not doing the standard stuff and when your opponent kind of interrupts you um or when you're just doing this cheeky combo with mystic minds mellow seek and spoofing uh really is a not really is fun to watch your opponent suffer through that they get mad <laughs> um but yeah uh that's the video as i said don't forget to like comment subscribe and i will see you guys next time all two guys are great robot one signing out later